Today we were celebrating Transportation Freedom Day, which is the day that an average Denver household has earned enough to pay for their transportation costs for the whole year. And Transportation uh, Freedom Day varies depending on where you live in the Denver metro area. So we have data that can uh, extrapolate which cities uh, have the earlier Transportation Freedom Days and therefore have lower transportation costs and which ones have higher. And it usually happens to be where uh, the places that have the earlier Transportation Freedom Day and have the lower transportation costs tend to be in areas that are walkable areas, bikeable areas, or areas with access to public transportation. And those areas that tend to, to where households pay more for their transportation costs tend to be areas where you don't have as much access to alternatives and you're basically reliant on your car, which tends to be more expensive to uh, a more expensive way to get around. Yeah, we're hoping that elected officials can use this data and this information to figure out places where Denver residents are actually saving money because they have access to public transit, because they have access to communities that are walkable and, and bikeable. We're hoping that uh, elected officials can use that information to help make the case for more public transit options, for uh, policies um, that encourage communities to be more walkable and more bikeable and, and to encourage growth that, that, that allows people to be able to walk to the store or walk to work or, or, or walk to the, to, the, to the neighborhood park. Um, so we're hoping that this can lead towards uh, lower costs for consumers when they're just kicking around.